This is the video lesson for warm-up number 8-8. -8. The directions tell us to rotate each figure around the given center of rotation with a given angle of rotation. Then we're going to label our image. So number one, we want to rotate triangle XYZ around the center of rotation, which is 0, 0. Go ahead and mark that right there. And we're going 90 degrees. Now, since it just says 90 degrees and doesn't tell me the direction, we are going counterclockwise. In math, if it doesn't tell you the direction, then it's assumed that we go counterclockwise. Okay, so just to remember, clockwise goes in the way the hands go on a clock. Counterclockwise goes this way right there against the direction of the hands of a clock. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Z. So I'm going to go ahead and connect Z to our center of rotation. Go ahead and draw a segment there. And now I'm going to get my compass, and the point, pointy part of that compass is going to be on the center of rotation, which is 0, 0. I'm going to measure the distance between 0, 0 and Z. Now Z is what's rotating. Z is rotating this direction around this point. We think of this as the sun, and this is a planet. So Z is going to be rotating counterclockwise 90 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to get out my protractor, and I'm going to put my protractor right there. So the T is going to go on the center of rotation, and I'm going to line it up with Z, because that's the one I'm rotating. So you can see right there, I've lined it up with Z. Okay, now 90 degrees is up here. I'm going to go ahead and mark 90 degrees. And then I grab my straight edge, and I line up that tick mark that I just made with the center of rotation. Now, you can go ahead and draw a line all the way through. I don't want too many lines going on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark where it crosses. I can see it's going to cross right there at that point, and I can label that Z prime. Okay, we're going to rotate X now around the point zero, zero. So I go ahead and I connect those two points. The sharp point goes on the center of rotation. X is the point that is rotating, that is my planet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and rotate counterclockwise. And I'm going to get to my compass. The T goes on the center of rotation. And I'm lining it up here with my X because I'm rotating X this time. And I find 90 degrees on here. I make my tick mark. Then I grab my straight edge. I line that tick mark up with the center of rotation. And X is going along this arc right there. And I can see it lines up right here. So that's going to be my X prime. Okay, my last one is Y. And Y is really tiny. So I'm not going to use my compass on this one. We're going to go ahead. I know it's 90 degrees, so I'm going to use my opposite reciprocal slopes. This is going down one, right one. This is a slope of negative one. So to be perpendicular, it has to have a slope of positive one. So there's my y prime. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and connect those. So make sure you have labeled your image x prime y prime and z prime. Okay, and number two, we are rotating this figure, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, around the point uh, one, negative three, and we're rotating 180 degrees. So one, negative three, one, negative three is right there. Okay. <clears throat> so we are rotating A, B, and D around that vertex. <clears throat> okay, and if we're doing 180 degrees, 
it doesn't matter if we go clockwise or counterclockwise because uh, we'll end up in the same place. They're both half a circle. Let's go ahead and start with A. So I already have a line connecting them, so I don't have to worry about that. And I have to go a little more than half of a circle. Now I know that 180 degrees is a straight line. So I just need to look and see along the straight line here where it crosses the arc. I can also look at the slope, down two, left two, down two, left two. So I know this one right here is A prime. Now with D, it's gonna be completely on the other side. So I'm just gonna use my straight line to go ahead and do D just right here. I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's our D prime. Okay, now B, since I just know it's a straight line, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my slopes to rotate B here. So B, I go down two, left, one, two, three, four, five. So down two, left, one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be our B prime. And then C prime doesn't move because that's our center of rotation. Okay, and there's number two. Okay, number three, we're gonna rotate M 90 degrees around the point one, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that one, three. That is like my sun, the center of rotation. I'm gonna go ahead and connect M to that point. Now remember that the center of rotation is like the sun, it does not move. This is like the planet, it's gonna be moving around the sun. Now it says go 90 degrees, since it doesn't say clockwise, we're gonna go counterclockwise, which is going to be this direction. Gonna go ahead and make our arc. Now I'm going to line up my protractor with this. The T goes on the center of rotation, and I'm lining it up there with M. I find my 90 degree mark. Remember, if you'd like, you are welcome to go ahead and connect it all the way if you want to. You don't have to. You can just mark where it meets up. That is my M prime. Okay, N is gonna be 180 degrees around three, negative three. So one, two, three, down three. So we're doing N 180 degrees. If you can do this without using your compass and protractor, you're welcome to, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the compass and protractor just for those who are still struggling with this concept. Okay, so we're gonna go counterclockwise. Now remember that 180 is half, it's a straight line. So we see that if I was to go ahead and connect it the other way, it's gonna meet right there. That's my N prime. Okay, number four, we're gonna rotate G 270 degrees clockwise around negative one, one. So negative one, one, it's right there.
And it says 270 degrees clockwise. So I'm gonna be taking this and going three-fourths of the way around. 270 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise will get me to the exact same place. So I'm gonna do 90 degrees counterclockwise instead. That's less I have to do, less of an arc, and my protractor only goes to 180. So I'm doing 90 degrees counterclockwise instead. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our T there on the center of rotation. We're gonna line that up. And there's our 90 degree point. We're gonna connect that 90 degree tick mark to the center of rotation. We can see it's gonna meet right there. And that is our G prime. Okay, our last one, H. This one is going to go around two negative two. And this one's going 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise goes this direction. Oh, that totally went off, so let's erase that and start again. to put our protractor, the T, right there on the center of rotation. Line it up with H. And our 90 degree mark is right there. So it's right there. Okay, we're gonna line those two up. The center of rotation on that tick mark I just made. And we can see that right there's our point. This is H prime. 